you together. Really? Why is that? I'm putting together a drug regimen for one of your mutual patients. Uh, Sylvia Myers? That is the one. I have a few questions. Okay, um, I was just gonna walk over to ICU. Why don't we walk together? Okay. Oh, wait, 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 I have a question of my own. Did Patrick tell you what we did while you were away? Well, it can't be the wine. You didn't take a sip. What are you talking about? Well, you just implied that uh, you approved of me on some level. Well, and you just apologized, which means we, we both must have had too much of something. Well, the apology didn't come with expectations. Well, so it just came from the goodness of your heart? You know, it's been a long time since I've, I've heard a prosecutor admit she was wrong. I saw a conclusion I wanted, and I jumped to it. So that's two now. First, Johnny's car bombing, and then Cloudy's dad. You know, a real gentleman wouldn't point that out. So don't get too cocky here, okay? <laughs> My contrition is limited. It is, and I'm not going to go easy on you. All right, all right. Bring me whatever you got. What the hell was that? Uh, a test of my emergency broadcast system, and you passed with flying colors. You are still the best kisser ever, bar none. You know, I don't get it. We laid out front of Franco's mother's house all night. It's reasonably close to Port Charles, a good base of operations, and the guy doesn't show up. You can't apply logic to Franco. He's giving me a headache. Yeah, I know the feeling. that Patrick hasn't held you hostage and given you a blow by blow of his awe-inspiring performance You know, the other you know what, Robin, Robin doesn't need to hear from uh, Shirley's surgery. What is this, a sudden flash of modesty? I wasn't bad either, if I do say so myself. And Patrick was very complimentary after. But, you know, in all honesty, there was only one genius in that operating room and I was just a humble acolyte. We could have lost Shirley a dozen times or she could have pulled through and been severely compromised, but Patrick was relentless. I mean, he was determined to kick cancer's ass. It, um, it was an honor to assist you, doctor, and I hope that you will always call on me. Wow, high praise from Caesar. I just do what I do. And you got yourself a new supplicant. <laughs> Well, a lot of people around here have a stake in what happens to Shirley, so. Yeah, I'm sure that's part of it. But Dr. Niles genuinely respects you and admires you. She is a goner for you. Freshly speaking, of course. Of course. Sorry, I missed it. When you're in Dr. Rockstar mode, you take my breath away. 
I did so good when I married you. Yes, <laughs> Expecting a call. Yeah, you flatter me. Don't do it again. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, get here as soon as possible. The old Lachlan Mansion. Country Road 66. Take a wild guess. Yet another dead end. Yep, my forensics found nothing on the flowers, which bugs me because the guy sends Maxie 66 roses in the course of a day. It's got to mean something. It does mean something. Uh, where you find something alarming? I don't answer to you. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, buddy, but in this case, you okay, sort of do. Hold, hold on. Franco is a priority right now, Spinelli. We need to work together to get this thing over with. Okay. I stand ready to serve at the master's behest, but I must ponder the point. The merciless world stacks the deck. Every step forward results in two steps in reverse. Joy becomes another crushed can in the debris of our impending doom. Are you having some kind of relapse or something? You know what? Dante, I don't care to discuss my personal issues in your presence. Well, you got your work cut out for you. I'm gonna do it fast because we need this kid back on track. It is fascinating how the duplicitous detective's moral standards are no longer offended by the Jackal's methods now that he stands to benefit. Fix him. A roadkill in the highway of love. The jackal makes me stare no more. Okay, I, I'm not even gonna pretend to know what this is about, but I, I'm on duty. I, I can't have this. You know, women lying in wait to kiss me. I just... explained that it was an emergency. No, Maxie, it's not an emergency, okay? Fire is an emergency. Earthquakes and tidal waves are emergencies. But the, you haven't explained anything. What are you doing? Okay, but remember that you asked. Um, I have been flirting with Matt Hunter to try and make Spinelli jealous, and he kissed me. Matt, I mean, which he has done before, but I guess I really forgot, because this time it actually got my attention. And, and I was thinking while we were kissing, wow, this actually feels like really real people kissing, which set off these self-alarm bells, like, clanging in my head, because I don't want to get so deep into something that I'm going to regret forever, like that horrible night that I spent with Franco. So I thought, I really need, like, a basis for comparison, and I thought about how much I really like kissing you. I don't know if it was your technique, or the drugs or whatever, but you still got it in case you're interested. Wow. You are definitely an original. I know that, but it's Finelli who seems to have forgotten. Thank you. Okay, look, not to minimize your romantic plight or anything, but I do have work to do, so are we done? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, I'll walk you out. You good? <laughs> Such a slut. I was wondering how long it would take you to throw yourself at Lucky. 